Good morning. Good morning. What season do we have now? It's September in the south, southern zone of Costa Rica on the Pacific side. We are getting close to the end of the rainy season. Uh, we get rains until November. So is the end almost the end of Al the rainy almost season. the end of the rainy season do yes. we plant do we still plant at this time of the rainy season or if this time of the year on this farm we don't plant anymore in september we don't plant more fruit trees no no more fruit trees what Just is the last time when we plant we still plant it in august yes um and what if someone wants to plant? <laughs> is it still possible to plant a fruit tree this time of the year? Yes, it's still possible. Okay, what would you do okay. um, if you would have the chance to plant now and that is the, your big chance to plant? Yes, so if I really wanted to plant and I wanted to plant in September, one thing I could do was to plant in a shaded area, in a protected space. So why do you plant in this protected area? What does it give to your plants? It gives shade. Shade. We have these cacaos coming over the top of this tree and it gives protection from the full sun. And also it keeps moisture it keeps the moisture yes. in the ground level. What else can we do to protect this tree? Heavily mulched, as you can see. Yes. It's heavily mulched and we have supportive species planted around it. This is Mexican sunflower, which will also give us shade around the tree. What if we don't have uh, existing vegetation where okay. we can plant so we were lucky here of course because we had these cacaos here they are not too tall but they give us shade and we don't have that we have to double down on the mexican sunflower maybe yucca and other plants around the tree that will have these two months that are left from the rainy season to grow up so they can grow, the they can still grow up there. Yes, we can go there and I will show you an example that is two months old. Okay, and let's see. Yeah, let's see. On, wow. the way, on the way we found this patch of uh, camote, yes. sweet potato. So you can also plant ground covers. This will protect the soil from being burned. This is also a kind of uh, bitter cucumber. So bitter melon. Bitter melon. So shading out the soil, shading out the plants is our goal here. Here we have yucca and corn planted between the durian trees. Okay. So this is the spot. Yes. Where is the durian tree? Where is the durian tree? That's <laughs> what we want to achieve, okay? This yes. is the Mexican sunflower just planted around the durian and they grown up to two meters height in yes. two months. In two months. It's September now. We will cut these back because yes. they will grow back for November mm -hmm. to the same size. So we want to achieve this. Yes, we want to achieve this for the dry season yes. for our trees. So the beginning of the dry season. Yes. And there's the tree. Yeah, Musang King. Let, yeah. me, let me grab it so you can see it. Yeah, this is the tree. Yes. So you will chop chop all these. I'll chop them back maybe to this height and drop the mulch around the tree and they will grow back again for the dry season. Amazing. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Just look there. The same thing goes on here. Yes. In there, we have the tree. Nice, <laughs> nice big black thorn. Treasure hunting. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a big one. Yeah, this is a big tree. Amazing. 
There's one more thing that we do when we need immediate protection. Obviously, when we plant this and we put the sticks in, the tree could suffer from too much sun already. So I will show you one more example of what we do when we plant late in the season. Okay. This is the D93 Sarawak King. I only had small trees from this kind and we planted them a little bit late. You can see the Mexican sunflower already growing around it. Yes. And we put this serum on top to protect it from the sun even before this Mexican sunflower can grow. So this is immediate protection until our support species grow around the tree. We also like to plant yucca because yucca grows faster in the first one, two months. Let's go and check the next mound and I will show you the yucca. <laughs> so this is a golden phoenix and you can see all the yucca around it. The yucca grows faster in the beginning month. The only thing with yucca is when we cut it back, it grows back more slower. The yes, back, and it will be weak, weaker. It will be weaker, slower yes. than in case of the Mexican sunflower. So you need to keep that in mind. Maybe plant Mexican sunflower. So we always yucca. we always keep it in mind that. Yes. Not sure if you can see. Mm -hmm. So we have Mexican sunflower planted also. As we cut the yucca back and it gets weaker, we already have the Mexican sunflower in place. It takes over. It takes over. We have the tree planted. We have Mexican sunflower around the heavily mulched mound. And then we have syntropic lines in between the trees. There is the next tree. In between we have this line. We want thick vegetation. We want shade around our trees. So this is our syntropic line between the trees. And in between the rows we put banana rows. This will also retain the moisture in the dry season. These are also planted two months ago. They were strong trunk. So, strong trunks, yeah. These are the things we do when we plant late in the season. So what is the last point when you when we when we still plant a fruit tree? If we don't have irrigation. If we don't have irrigation. Or we just have uh, minimal irrigation. Yes emergency yes irrigation okay i would say september last year we planted in september this year we stopped in august we managed with our trees last year so september is still okay but it's still it was uh, hard work it was hard <laughs> at the work. end of uh, the dry season we if we still wanted to plant now i would have to install irrigation Yes, thank you.